Kia ora Star Wars fans, welcome to Middle Age Kiwi Man collecting Star Wars figures. In this video I just want to do a top 5 of my vintage collection Imperial Troopers. Now I love the Imperial era, I love the Troopers, I love to army build. Uh, yeah, so this is a pretty exciting video for me. Um, so we will get straight into it and we'll start with a couple of honourable mentions um, that didn't make it into the top 5 but are worth mentioning anyway. Okay, and here are my honourable mentions. So we've got the Imperial Assault Tank Driver and then the Imperial Assault Tank Commander. Both pretty hard to come by actually. This one is VC126 and the Commander is VC148. Um, yeah, both nice card backs. I think I actually prefer this card back though, even though it's got a picture of the Commander and you can barely see the driver. I do like the fact that it shows the tank, which is kind of reminiscent of some of those Kenner ones where the, uh, where the pilots or the drivers um, had the picture of the vehicle on the back. Okay, and fifth place on my list I have VC-123, the Mimban Stormtrooper. Now I love this trooper. Um, it was a bit of a surprise actually from the Solo line. There's only five figures in the Solo line. But um, this was the one where when it came out we all said, wow, if you just change the helmet you've got the perfect Stormtrooper. So. This deserves a lot of kudos. I love the weathering on this and I love the soft goods cape and all of that. It's a very, very fine figure. VC-123. My solo troops, we've got some of the range troopers there. We've got the Mimban storm troopers, of course, and then a couple of mud troopers. Need to do that on TVC. Okay, and in fourth spot, I have VC-133. It's the Scarif Stormtrooper. Now honestly this would have been higher up on my list because I love this figure, it's a repack of the Black Series 3.75 inch Scarif Trooper, uh, incorrectly called the Squad Leader in that line, uh, but I do love this figure, what lets it down actually is that card back, it's not the greatest image, they've got so many cool images from Rogue One that they could have used, but uh, that is my number 4. Here are some of my Scarif Troopers, along with a few Storm Troopers. So we've got a few more Scarif Troopers scattered in there with the tank drivers. Okay, we're into the top three now, and of course the top three is very, very hard to pick because we're, we're talking elite, elite figures. So here we go, here's my number three. It is VC-140, the Rogue One Stormtrooper. Um, for a long time, this was the definitive Stormtrooper. I don't think I ever saw it on shelves or available in New Zealand. I got most of mine from Big Bad Toy Store. I just kept ordering it as, as often as I could. I still have about six on pre-order, which I don't think are ever going to get filled, but there he is, VC-140, a magnificent Stormtrooper and a welcome addition to the line. Stormtroopers look great. Well, the Stormtroopers in the Vintage Collection, an honourable mention for this card back. That Empire Strikes Back card is absolutely amazing. Alright, the number two figure on my list of the Vintage Collection Imperial Troopers is VC-127, the Death Trooper. This is another figure that I love. It's another figure that's from the originally from the Walmart uh, Black Series 3.75 line, so it's a repack, but I just love this, and I think the Carter is amazing, I think the flames in the background, and then the orange background just makes it look amazing, this is one of my top, top card backs of all of the vintage collection, I love this figure, it is the Death Trooper. We definitely need a new uh, Director Krennic in TVC, and here's some of his bodyguard. Of course, Death Troopers are also seen with Moff Gideon in The Mandalorian. I love Snow Troopers, but we don't have a definitive one yet for the Vintage Collection, so that's something I'd really like to see. Okay, and here it is. My number one on my Vintage Collection Imperial Trooper Countdown is, of course, VC-231, the Stormtrooper on the classic card, the Rocker Ankles, He's got the holster, it's just an amazing figure, amazing sculpt, amazing helmet. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Originally a Walmart exclusive. Thankfully for us that don't live in America, it was also available later on as a online exclusive. I picked up a few of these from Big Bad Toy Store, but also from Zavi in Australia actually. So yeah, really happy to have picked up half a dozen of these to go with loads of other Stormtroopers. But that's it. That is my number one on my list. Um, 
Let me know your thoughts, let me know in the comments below if I've missed any of your favourites or do you agree with my list, do you have a different list, just go for gold. And uh, I'm Middle Aged Kiwi Man collecting Star Wars figures. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. Kakite, and I'll see you on another video.